Welcome to the homework for lesson 12. It's module 2 of grade 1. Write your name first before you forget it. And we're just making simple math drawings and we're going to cross out from the 10 ones to show what happens in the stories. And here's an example of how we're crossing out from the 10. There were 15 squirrels in a tree. 10 of them were eating nuts. Five squirrels were playing. A loud noise scared away nine of the squirrels eating nuts. How many squirrels were left by the tree? So there's 15 squirrels. 10 are eating nuts. We can write an N. And the rest of them were playing. That's five we're playing. <clears throat> Nine of the squirrels eating nuts are scared away. So we're going to draw these ten. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two five groups. And then this is five. Then one, two, three, four, five. That's another five group. So can't take nine away from the five because there's not enough of them. So we take it all from the ten. And we should know that there's going to be one left without even counting. And then we have five left here. And one more. Six. Six squirrels left by the tree. Number two. There are 17 ladybugs on the plant. Ten of them are on a leaf. And seven of them are on the stem. Nine of the ladybugs on the leaf crawled away. So we have how many ladybugs are still on the plant. So we have 17. That's the, the total. And they're in two parts. One of the parts has 10. They're on the leaf, L. And then seven are on the stem. There's seven. These are the ones that are on the stem. L for leaf, S for stem. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two more in the next group. So we have our ten, we have our seven. Nine of the ladybugs on the leaf crawled away. So that's, uh -huh. we know there's going to be just one left. When we take nine away from ten, can't take nine away from seven because seven's not big enough. So how many are left on the plant? There's one, two, three, there's this seven, and one more, eight. Number three, use the number bond to fill in the math story. Make a simple math drawing. Cross out from ten ones or some ones to show what happens in the stories. There are 13 ants in the anthill. So here we go, A. Ten of the ants were sleeping. Label those with an S. And three of them are awake. Uh, awake. Let's see. We'll make this an H for hill. Nine of the sleeping ants woke up and crawled away. So here's our math drawing. We need our ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then our three. One, two, three. So nine of the sleeping ants crawl away. Those are the sleeping ants, and these are the ones that are awake. So those are gone. So there's three here, and one more is four. Four left on the anthill. Then use the number bond below to come up with your own math story. Include a simple math drawing and cross out from the ten ones to show what happens. So here's our math drawing. We need a group of ten and a group of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Two five groups. Make ten. And then four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Our number sentences. And 
if we're going to subtract 9 in our story, which we don't have to, but that's what we've been doing so far. Fourteen minus nine, right? Is the same as this. We could be fancy about it, but that's gonna equal this four plus one more, which is five. The statement you're gonna to have to figure out the statement is gonna to have to go along with your story. So you got the statement. I can't tell you what the statement is for an answer because you have to make up your own math story. So I don't know what the units are. They could be monkeys and bananas. They could be almost anything. Make up your own story, and your statement should go along with it.